to Randy Learn. I understand your dad left you the team. And I understand that you probably only want no part of the team. But it is time to put the team on the market to someone that wants to invest into it. Someone that wants to win them. Someone that wants to make proper decisions on hiring personnel. Now, Browns fans, it's time. It's time. We need to set petitions up, whatever. I'm done with them. I'm done. I'm Baltimore Ravens fan now. I'm hey, Pittsburgh, I was going to go to Pittsburgh, but guess what? They're old. You can run on them. And they can't. their offensive line is garbage. So I'm done with them. I won't even think that. But it is time. For you Browns fans, you remaining Browns fans, to start a petition right now to get Patrick Shermer to, to make I ain't going to say nothing else, but you need to get rid of Colt McCoy. I can see that he ain't the answer from this very chair I'm sitting in right now. The guy is horrible. He is absolutely the worst quarterback in the NFL right now. They can't move the ball on offense. You know, I don't want to hear about we have no receivers. It's not. We have just enough talent that if we had a good quarterback right now, we could put up 30 points a game. It is time to, look, it's time to close the book on McCoy. Close the God, close the book on him. Close the book on him. He sucks. I'm done with him. He's garbage. He is not a quarterback. It's time to close the book. Mike Holmgren, you have a lot of explaining to do to the people in Cleveland right now. Why you had to hire someone from your little tree, the Cleveland background, or not the Cleveland background, the uh, West Coast offense, which I like to call the West Coast offense. Why did you have to hire someone? You could have hired somebody else, but you hired a lifetime offensive coordinator. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. The defense, Dick Jerron, what the fuck are you teaching them guys in? The defense is horrible at best. You got guys on there, six foot four, 260 pound tight ends, running right through your secondary untouched for touchdowns. You're making Matt Hasselbeck look like a fucking Super Bowl quarterback. He didn't do shit in the Super Bowl. He didn't do shit in Seattle. You are making terrible quarterbacks look good. I'm done. I'm done. The Baltimore Ravens are the real Cleveland Browns. When the team moved in 95, that is what I should have kept doing is following them right now, this and that. I should have. That is my team I am rooting for now. I'm done with the Cleveland Browns until, number one, they hire a new coach. Number two, they hire a GM that doesn't have to go, well, we got to go back to our roots and get the West Coast offense. Guess what? If you wanted to do that, you should have came down and coached the goddamn team yourself. But this is deplorable football. I've never seen any football that stunk so bad in my life. It's the same old shit. Every day, every year. I'm not having it. I'm done. I'm not going to watch your team sit there and struggle. And Josh Cribbs, if I were you seriously, I would demand a trade at this juncture. I would demand a trade because your talents are severely being wasted in Cleveland. The sad part is if you was on a good NFL team right now, you'd be a household name bigger than anyone in the NFL. But because you're on Cleveland, on the worst coast offense with Colt McCoy, come on, man. Draft a six foot four to six foot six quarterback that has an arm that you can tutor, teach, not some six foot guy that does a fucking Ford LTD commercial, whatever he does. I can't take it no more. I cannot take this no more. I want to watch the Cleveland Browns be back to the dominant days of the 80s, late 80s, and the early 90s, where they actually could get in the playoffs and do damage. Three AFC Championship games, they lost to the Denver Broncos. But this, what I'm seeing now, it's never going to happen under this current regime. And it starts from the top. You hired a lifetime offensive coordinator. You hired a lifetime offensive coordinator. You know why? Because he's your puppet on your strings. You basically are coaching a team from up in the box right now, but you don't get the blame for all the missing. I mean, how many penalties do we get? I'm tired of it. I can't take it. I wanted to wake up and enjoy football today. I figured we had a chance to beat this Titan team because I figured the Titans over ready. But guess what? Like I said the other day, we were one bad play away from being the worst 3-0 team in the history of football. It's over. I am done. I am done. I won't do it no more. And, ready learner, if you're out there listening and you decide to want to change direction into a new regime, whatever, guess what? My background speaks volumes. I will coach your team right now. And I will do it for free for the rest of the season. And I will guarantee you that team will win and perform up higher than level expectations could ever be thought of with this current regime. I'll guarantee it. I'll guarantee it. I know the game of football. I know what people want and I know what people don't want. And I'll tell you right now what they don't want. They don't want to see that six-foot quarterback in that pocket holding on to that ball too goddamn long, taking the sack, being rattled back there. They want a big arm quarterback. Look at all these quarterbacks that are. Look at uh, 
What the hell is that kid's name? Cameron? Look at the kid. 6'5". Look at Philip Rivers, 6'5". Ben Roethlisberger, 6'5". It is not. It'd be different if McCoy had a cannon arm. But he don't. He's got a pea shooter. He's like, bling. He don't have a cannon arm. And then we're talking about this poison, moxie, whatever. Man, come on, man. The dude gets flustered, man. Any time a little, sets a little pressure. Oh, oh, oh. He's flustered, man. We need a quarterback. But it don't matter. I'm done. I'm a Baltimore Ravens fan now. I will be going to pick Ravens gear up right now after the game. Of course, you want to watch the rest of the Browns games. I want to see how bad they get humiliated. And I am a Baltimore Ravens fan now. The real Cleveland Browns. I just hope that my sudden inclination to start liking them doesn't bring the 40 years of bad luck from Cleveland over to them. But I'm sure it won't. Get this uploaded now, for real. I can't. I, I seriously, get it uploaded now.